So next we're going to go ahead and install the memory now that we've got the tuner cards and stuff in place. In this particular case I'm running uh, DDR2667 memory. Um, check with your motherboard manufacturer to determine what memory is approved for your motherboard. Um, you'll see this is a dual channel configuration. Um, I'm going to put them in pairs. You know, whether I use channel A or channel B, it's not a real big difference in terms of performance. In some applications, you know, gaming applications and things like that, you might need super fast memory for home theater PC type stuff. You don't need the fastest memory on the block. You know, I'd say search for something that's approved by your motherboard vendor and, you know, that you can get a fairly decent price on. Anywhere from two to four gigs is probably more than enough at this point in time, unless you're running a 64-bit OS. Then you might want uh, more memory, but, you know, generally, you know, anywhere from two to four gigs is probably more than enough. I'm going to go ahead and, in this particular case, insert it in channel B. And normally, whenever you do any sort of build, you want to do it in an annex, anti-static environment. Uh, strap yourself down, make sure that you're not going to short out components. Don't handle it by the edges, things like that. Um, you know, but since we're just kind of stepping through the process, I'm not overly concerned about all that kind of stuff. But uh, you know, if this were a, a live working system that I was going to build, um, I would probably take extra precautions in those particular steps. And then once we get it in place, we just snap that down.